I'm in a cutscene. So it's your lot's turn to be the warriors of darkness, is it? <laughs> it's funny how things work out. Well, I did warn you. I followed you to Yulmor and then on to Armorang. And I was there when you slew the Light Warden. Those white-haired twins who are with you. I remember them from our battle in the source. Are they your friends, then? Through thick and thin? Aye. 
Then I suggest you keep them close. It's when you charge ahead trying to save someone else that you end up losing those you love. I know that you need telling, I'll bet you've lost plenty. But I wonder, what will it cost you this time? I don't remember when it was that I learned regret wasn't worth the bother. You get numb to it all over the years. The lost comrades, the broken promises, the abandoned principles. Just more nagging burdens to ignore. So this is what the light was hiding. He's here. I must go to him. Stay your weapon. We are not your enemy. When the alarm sounded, I wondered what we had done to betray our presence. But I see now we are not the only intruders. Sir Estinian, I presume. The dragoon who plucked the warrior of light from the jaws of death? Your armor is most distinct. Much as yours once was. But even without it, I see a former legator still has eyes and ears in unexpected places. Van Bailsa, in the flesh. Though I understand you prefer Shadow Hunter. Contact with the Scions, I take it. <laughs> Through no choice of my own, they tracked me down and conscripted me to their cause. I swear the receptionist was trained as a spy. Not that anyone can escape that Baldessian woman once she has caught the scent of your Aretha. If they have resorted to using freelancers, I must assume their attempts to wake the afflicted have failed. And what of their champion? Away on another business. Thus, it has fallen to me to root out any trace of the Empire's new weapon. If it is Black Rose you seek, you are too late. My people have already completed your mission here. Yet this is but one factory among many. When they caught wind of our efforts, they built additional facilities to ensure production continues unabated. There will be no one left in the lands they conquer. No citizens to conscript. No skills to exploit. Nothing the Empire needs. They will call it victory. What exactly does this Black Rose do? The Gar 
gas is described as a poison, but its actual effect is more arcane in nature. It was created to disrupt the ether in living beings, to bring the flow of their life energies to a standstill. Inhaling even the tiniest amount will cause all bodily functions to cease, much as a potent venom will stop a man's heart. Released over a city, Black Rose could conceivably kill every inhabitant, and all without damaging a single structure. Search every corner! Rouse the barracks if you have to! I want this facility secured! I have more questions, but now is not the time. Seristinian, I have an offer for you, but I will make it only once. Since it would seem we seek the same answers, you are welcome to join us. Huh. From what I hear, you need all the help you can get. In case you don't know, Varys himself confessed that your empire was a creation of the Asians. I am aware of what his radiance said at the parley. Thus, I would return to the capital, that I might behold the truth of this corruption with my own eyes. My path leads to Garlemald. Oh, cutscene. You are come at a good time. As you may have heard, we have something of a quandary on our hands. Lax and Loft here in Lakeland. Yulmore has sent one of its airships. They have questions for us concerning the death of the Light Warden. Their emissary makes his way here even as we speak. I suppose the sky does rather give the game away. Indeed. It was inevitable they would come knocking. The only question was how soon. For a grumpy, he's super short. My lord, I yeah, I picked the May shortest people you could pick. I didn't realize that. A moment, Captain, if you would. I do not wish to show our hand prematurely. Forgive me this liberty. Vanish. Enter. Well, well, the commander of the Yulmoran army You know himself. what they say comes in small packages, a lot General of strong Roger. power. That is true. The Light Warden is dead, Exarch. Were your people responsible? You are clearly in some haste, my lord. But before I uh, address your question, you must allow me one of my own. What is Yulmore's interest in this? His benevolence, Lord Vorthry, is gravely concerned that the actions of an ignorant few may jeopardize relations between man and Sin Eater. 
should it transpire that the Crystarium is guilty of abetting the villains responsible for this outrage, my lord has decreed that it suffer the same retribution. I see. Since you have been so candid, I too shall speak my mind. Regardless of who is responsible, the Crystarium rejoices in the Light Warden's death and welcomes the return of the Night Sky. If Yulmor considers this tantamount to aiding those you term villains, then by all means, carry out your retribution. Know, however, that even should every innocent soul in the Crystarium perish, nothing can stop that which has been set in motion. <sighs> Folly. The death of one or a thousand thousand Sin Eaters changes nothing. The world is dead and writhe as we might, like maggots in its rotting course, it will not be reborn. Only by my master's grace may we live out our days in peace. But I waste my breath. You have made your stance clear. I shall relay your words to Lord Vorthry. In the meantime, you would do well to counsel any here who have done more than merely rejoice in recent events to throw themselves upon Yulmore's mercy promptly. One last matter. We are searching for a young artist and his assistant. Know you of whom I speak? An artist and his assistant? No. I cannot say I do. What a pity. Should they reveal themselves to you, I bid you hand them over at once. My master is most eager to see them again. Imagining things, or did he just stare straight at us? I want a hoot like his. I fear he did. The general is not a man to be trifled with. He is a warrior of fearsome repute who has led Yormor's army since before Valtry's time, when the nation still spearheaded the fight against the Sin Eaters. One does not command the world's mightiest army, and for so long, without possessing exceptional instincts. If you more chose to send such an individual, we must assume this talk of retribution is more than an idle threat. While we are grateful for your support, my lord, we cannot in good conscience put your people in harm's way. It is noble of you to say, Master Alphano, but my people have been in harm's way since long before you arrived. Yulmor has ever yearned to rule over what remains of the world. Even should we surrender the warrior of darkness to them, they would find some other pretext upon which to invade. The people of the Crystarium know this only too well, which is why, when the time comes, I am certain they will fight to the last man. If truth be told, I would not have been surprised had Ranjit declared war here and now. He may have reason to delay. According to reports, the Yulmoran forces at Luxon Loft were observed taking a prisoner. A young woman believed to be none other than the Oracle of Light, Milfilia. 
It may be that General Ranjit wishes to convey her to Yulmor before commencing hostilities. Having mentored generations of Minfilias, it would not surprise me if he had made her capture his chief concern. There is, however, much to say, and precious little time in which to say it. I think it best that you seek out Moren at the Cabinet of Curiosity. I think Grimka is dreamy. Alphino, Alize, would you care to accompany your friend? You doubtless have insights of your own to offer on the matter. All right, though I'm still not sure I understand it all myself. In the meantime, I will set about making provisions for war. I gotta save this video. It wasn't difficult. Okay, we can begin learning. Cutscene, I think. Oh, it's a terrible cutscene. There's nobody talking. That way they don't overtalk each other at the same time.
This is such a good story. Like, jeez. Uh, the whole shebang. Fantastic. Now, if it had graphics like Red Dead, it'd be a masterpiece. But it's a masterpiece and it's like its own way. For a story, it's a masterpiece story. But the graphics, I feel like that could be better. You are doubtless eager to attempt Manfilia's rescue. And with your combined strength, you may well succeed. But as I said earlier, I do not wish to show our hand unless absolutely necessary. It was not merely the night sky that you restored to us, but hope. Hope for the future of Norvrand. Unlike you, we cannot contend with the Light Wardens. But so long as hope burns in our hearts, we'll send you some cold for your Christmas this year, cause we know you are missing IT. Dot dot lol. My friends, I thank you for gathering at such short notice. There is something I would ask you all. As many of you are aware, I received an emissary from Yulmor a short while ago in the form of General Ranjit. To my dismay, the General condemned the slaying of the Light Warden, and warned me in no uncertain terms that, should the Crystarium cast its lot with the Warrior of Darkness, there would be war. Let none be mistaken, we would be hard-pressed, indeed, to resist the might of Yulmor. Some would even call it suicide. And yet my heart cries out to fight. Better that than relinquish the hope that swelled in my breast when I beheld the night sky for the first time in a hundred years. Or so says my heart. My mind, meanwhile, reminds me that to follow my heart would be to risk everything we have accomplished thus far. Clearly, this is not a decision to be made lightly, nor less alone. And so I put the question to you all. What should we do? already know our minds. It brought tears to our eyes to witness the night's return. The whole of Norvrat deserves the same, and not just because some children's story tells us so. Yulmor's influence is far-reaching. Should war break out, trade would be subject to restrictions. Flow of goods will dry up, and we will struggle to make do with what little trickles through. But make do, we will. Aye, we can weather such hardships. Is that not the very thing the Crystarium was built for? We have always taken pride in our ability to sustain ourselves. Not just to endure, but to thrive. When all falls down around you, rise up. Those were your words. There may come a day when all hope seems lost. But even should the rest of the world give in to despair, we shall not. We shall fight on. That our children and our children's children might know a better tomorrow. Rousing words apart, I never much cared for those you moron bastards anyway. No better than common swindlers, most of them. Wouldn't know a fair deal if it came up and kissed them on the arse. Trust you to spoil the moment. <laughs> it 
It appears we have a consensus. Let it be known that the Yormoran host at Laxon Loft has taken the Oracle of Light captive. They fear the power she holds over the Sin Eaters, and doubtless intend to imprison her once more. So, I move that we rescue the Oracle, grant her a place among us, and let that be our answer to Yulmore's ultimatum. Hear, hear! Hear, hear! In planning a strategy for the rescue, I open the floor to you all. And there you have it. If Yulmore wishes to denounce us as villains, then we shall embrace our villainy. Will you do so as well? <sighs> we will not be outdone. Consider us your partners in crime. My lord, our proposal is as follows. We begin by deploying Amaro to occupy the skies over Lakeland. They should serve to delay the airship's departure. At the same time, we scatter dream powder from the air. Not all will succumb to its effects, but it should thin the enemy's numbers, affording us an opening to swoop in and liberate the Oracle. Very good. See to your preparations. And what exciting crimes would you have us commit? Speaking for my fellow villains, I'd say we're capable of most things, though we draw the line at influence. <laughs> if excitement is your desire, then I bid you join the guard. Captain Lena will give you your orders. <laughs> 